Hey creators, today we'll be looking at how you can use pan and zoom in Movavi Video Editor Plus 2020 or 2021. We're going to start by dragging our video down to the track and then we're going to go to this last circle over here, more tools, and click pan and zoom. From there you want to select your clip. You will then choose one of these to drag down to the clip. So let's do a zoom in and you can see it's setting, it's got a little arrow there, it shows where it will go. And then I can drag these points to make it longer or shorter. And if you double click the points, you can change exactly where it zooms in to and from. So I can drag this around. It's really similar to the animation keyframes. So I just double click those and then I can move it if I want it to zoom in up here and then it will zoom in there and it will look like this as it slowly zooms in if I make it shorter then it's going to zoom in faster and you see how quick that is you can also add additional zoom or additional pans to go with it so if I select this and then I choose left to right it will then pan it across left to right so I can change my zoom in and make it come over here and then use these points to make it move wherever I want to throughout the video. So I can have it zoom in and then pan across like this. For the pan and zoom points, you can right click and go up to pan and zoom and then add keyframe or if you'd like to delete one you select that point and then right click and remove keyframe when you double click on whatever spot that's in they'll move between the keyframes that way so right now there's no movement between these two points so there's no arrow but when I make it move from that point then there will be an arrow which is going to show that there's motion between those two pan and zoom points so if I add a zoom out on something that's not already zoomed in, it will automatically make the first piece a smaller zoomed in piece, and then it will zoom out at that point. You can make this last the entire video, so I could drag these points and it would just move really slowly from in to out. Um, or I can make it very quick, so that at a certain point, oops, let's grab that point instead, so that at a certain point it quickly zooms in and out like that. Now if you don't want there to be any motion at all between a zoom in or out then you could use the crop function instead so I would cut my film and then zoom in on the piece through the crop like that and then I, it's, it's effectively going to do the same thing but it's just a really quick jump cut type thing instead of a slow zoom, or, zoom in or out and then I can cut it again and make it zoom back out to the full frame by choosing this one and then crop and then lining it up with the full frame again. So you can have a moment where it cuts in. This works well if you just have one camera and you want to make your video look like it has kind of multiple angles. It can jump from one thing to another to keep the audience's attention better. Now you can also use it to follow movement. So we have this train here and I can choose the left to right and put it on the correct point so that it will follow the train as it comes in in the beginning. So right there. Then we can go from left to right and we can make that slow or fast and just kind of play it each time and adjust and see how it looks to you. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more Movavi Video Editor tips and tutorials. We'll see you next time.